Uh, aircraft engines are designed, designed nine, using a bottom-up design approach. Seven, six, we have main engine start, four, three, two, First, it is necessary to thoroughly understand the properties and limitations of the materials to be used. With this knowledge, larger component parts are designed and tested individually. As deficiencies and design errors are noted, they are corrected and verified with further testing. Finally, one works up to the final design of the entire engine to the necessary specifications. There's a good chance that by this time the engine will generally it's succeed. The Space Shuttle main engine was handled in a different manner, top-down. The engine was designed and put together all at once with relatively little detailed preliminary study of the material and components. Then, when troubles were found, it was difficult to discover their cause and make changes. Using the completed engine as a test bed to resolve problems was extremely expensive. Because the engines were built in a top-down manner, problems were difficult to find and fix.